Hey guys, what is going on? The Zip of Rage Quit TV gonna be bringing you a game between Idra and Yesman. I don't know who Yesman is. I don't know how this game is gonna be going, but I do know someone called Neo Duck on my YouTube channel left me a comment saying, "Hey guy, or hey man, you need some Idra replays." And I was like, "Okay, you got it, guy." Here comes an Idra game for you. Again, don't know exactly how good this is. This is the most recent game, and it was like seven or eight days old. Idra's replays aren't really easily available so you kind of just got to take what you can get and we'll see exactly what happens it is a zvp on shattered temple and idra uh, has been on a winning streak zvp but that's mainly because he's been playing tt1 lately and tt1 always goes for a nexus first and idra just has this sick nightus warm timing done to counter nexus first which may be what yesman is doing or Forge Fastest Man, that pylon is placed in a very awkward spot. The pylon should be placed right here as the Nexus. Let's see if I can do this correctly. The Nexus gets placed right here. And then your Gateway goes like right here. And then your Forge goes right here. And then you place a cannon like right back here to protect everything. And it's a very efficient wall with minimal buildings used. And that will allow you to spread your buildings out. And uh, spreading your buildings out is very good. Not only does it give you vision of everything so you don't get hit with a Nidus Worm, but also it makes it a lot harder to scout because if an Overlord sees like three gateways down here, he's like, okay, I know you're going to gate to play. If you spread out your gateways across your base, the Overlord may not want to go all over your base and get picked off. And he may be thinking, are you doing like a Robo play or still just getting gates? It's always good to keep your opponent guessing what you do. Idra does throw down a 14 pool. Yasmin is going to be running that probe around Idra's base, getting a few hits off, and now it looks like he wants to go and block the hatch. As you do see him queuing up a lot of those points, and everyone always queues them up in kind of like a circle, and Idra is going to be used to that with these two drones. After that one patch, he can easily box a probe, and just look at how efficient he is at killing that probe. His micro between these two drones is impeccable. And of course, Idra does love that one patch, which made it easier for the drones to hit workers. Because in the past, if a unit started going away from a drone while it was in the claw animation, the claw of course is its attack animation, it would just whiff and miss the target completely. And we do have a cannon being placed right here. Idra's seeing this wall, he's like, huh. And again, Yasmin is a much better player than me, so maybe that wall I was talking about is not possible to do on Shadow Temple. But I really don't like walls where you just go straight across on most maps. On, uh, what is that? I think it's Terminus Re. It's a sec- uh, it's acceptable to do that wall. And another pylon is being placed right here. He is placing all of his tech down at his natural, and that is not a good thing to do. Still does not have any gas. He is going to be getting one gas right now at 18 supply. And Idra doesn't have any gas either. He is going for that hatch, and I want to see Idra's gas timing. Because that is something I know I'm questioning when I play Zerg. I'm like, I'm not sure exactly when to get that. He has three drones oversaturated. Going to start getting his gases at 25 or was that 26 supply? The queen is going to start going down to this base. Maybe? No. She was just going up and now she is going right back down. This one probe is being chased by those three links and will also be going over to Protoss Heaven. Those links are going to catch up to it. Oh, one more hit. Maybe the probe will get away. He's getting very close, there's links, and do take it out. Cyber Next Core does get built around 28 supply, two gases are up, and there we go, probes going on both of them, and uh, I really, again, just don't like this pylon placement. It should be placed in his main base so he can spread out his tech, or just spread out the vision across his base. This pylon really doesn't power anything. If you can place a pylon down here, at least... Put it right here or something to give your uh, buildings a little bit of redundancy. Because if Bailing Bust came out right now, oh man, would Yasmin just be SOL. Maybe the Cyber Escort is being powered, but it doesn't look like it. These links are going to run in. See the pylon down here and uh, see the work account. Probes pulled off to stop those links. The links just going to try to run back out, but that cannon could take them out. So instead, they just go off to a corner. And no, they're going to try to get out. And the cannon is going to take care of one of them, not both of them. The other wing does get away with 9 HP. That layer does go out around the 42 supply, I want to say, or maybe the 40. Just in the 40-ish, when he had 100 gas from these two extractors, he starts the layer pretty much. 
And now he is getting two more gases at 49 supply, so he could be either going into Muta's or he could be going into that nice network play I have been talking about. He has been doing that against TT1 many, many times. I actually saw him play TT1 twice in a row. And TT1 lost to Nidus Network twice in a row. It was pretty funny and embarrassing for TT1 because... I mean, it sucks to lose to that once. It's like, man, I should have put pylons around my base. And we can see that's pretty cute. Yesman placing a pylon next to his Nexus, not in corners. So if Idra does go for that nice worm, well, Yesman's going to be hating life because he is just playing this pretty poorly. I know he is playing against Idra. I'm not. He is the good player. I'm not. But it's always good to point out these things, and StarCraft 2 is a game where lesser players can easily point out mistakes of greater players. Two gateways coming out, and that is only because that, um, Twilight Council, by the way, the game is so new. Once the game's timings come, like, the game comes out after Heart of the Swarm and Legacy of the Void, because that's going to screw everything up with timings and everything. But once those two things come out, for about two years after that, then you'll see everything get so refined, it'll be ridiculous, and people like me won't be able to give advice to players, and it looks like those Hydras are going to be so well-timed that Nidus Worm is going to be placed right here where Yesmin cannot see it, and just look at this, the Hydras are going to be starting to walk to this Nidus Network right now. That Nidus Network is just finishing right now, so it is so insane on the timing Idra has this, and the Whoop Gates have literally just finished and that is timed to go against Whoop Gates as well. Oh my god, did Idra just hit like the mother of all timings with this push. Just to go through to show how good Idra is and how refined his timing pushes are. These Hydras are going to come in, kill off these sentries, and that is the difference between like a diamond level Nidus play and a Grand Master. Or maybe even a Master level Nidus play and a Grand Master. Just the timing that Nidus Network comes out is so good and just guarantees the win. And Yesmin rage quits out of this game. And uh, again, if he placed his pylons, he has three pylons that he didn't really need a place. He just kind of put it there because his probe was there. It seemed like a good idea at the time. He didn't place them around the edges of his base, which allows Idra to get this Nidus Network into his base and do a lot of damage. Idra always jokes about saying, hey, I only won that game. Because my opponent was bad. I mean, Protoss should always win PvZs, correct? If the Protoss plays that correctly, I can't win. I just cheese because I hate Protoss, and they are bad, and I take advantage of that. That's basically Idra's motto, and well, it worked this game. And uh, made Yesmin pretty and furious. I don't even know if that was the correct phrasing to say that, but hey, hope you enjoyed the cast, and I will see you next time.